Jonathan's dream was to infuse musical theater with new and bold sounds. And while he didn't live to fulfill that dream, his musical rent took us by storm and fulfilled that dream. And the Jonathan Larson Grants Program and the hundreds of recipients that have received it carry on that legacy and make that dream come true year after year, again and again. Now when I look back at the list of people who have received grants from us, it's really pretty remarkable to see how many people have really taken hold and are making their mark in this very difficult industry. And that's very exciting and gratifying. So um, to our new winners, I think you're joining a very um, exciting and special group of artists. When I was um, 19 years old and uh, first in New York thinking that I wanted to write music and be a composer, my friends and I would gather in my living room every week and listen to Rent and sing through the whole thing by heart. So uh, uh, to be the recipient of a Jonathan Larson Award is something that I could not have imagined.
the feel of endless wet like cool velvet. But the memory was deep inside, threaded back a thousand years, stretched so fine, so long it was invisible. My fingers still sharp and quick. From taking back invisible thread, invisible fingers move, they play the song of how I tie the knots myself. Snail knot, snail knot, clinch knot, blood knot. Fingers move, they play the song of how I tie the net. I had seen a handful of other Broadway musicals to that point, but nothing quite as powerful and as moving as Rent. I saw it a dozen times that first year. The music, the entire production moved me every time I saw it, and it was then that I first thought I'd like to tell stories like that. Um, I'd like to offer other people the same experience Jonathan Larson offered me, a life-changing theatrical event. Since that day, my aspiration has been to call myself a full-time professional writer, not to strike it rich or write countless Broadway musicals, but to make writing my primary job to spend every day at a piano with a blank page staring at me waiting to be filled. With this award, Ryan and I are given a tremendous gift, so thank you. We are one step closer to real realizing that dream. It's an honor to be linked with Jonathan Larson's legacy and provides me with tremendous hope and encouragement as we move forward in our careers. So thank you again to the American Theater Wing, to the Larson family, and most importantly, to Jonathan Larson. Thank you. You've ever seen. It's delicious and vicious. 
shots and a little bit Watch out. And if you want to get in to this vision of glorious there is one man you have to impress. She's too big and he's too small. And there's no way you're getting through at all. If I were you, I'd just go. Oh, she's too fat, he's too thin. I think again if you think you'll get in. You gotta be good looking if you wanna get it cooking in here. Always fixing. Yeah. So unless you lose perfection, get prepared for some rejection. Be clear. Be clear, my dear. Bye. Yes, get out. Get out. And get gone. Get gone. We got a party going on till the dirt's been done. So unless you got it going on, get out. And get gone. But what happens now to the life I thought I knew? I had my whole life planned out. There was no surprise to speak of. I knew without a doubt what life was all about. But now I'm caught because I'm choosing between the life I may be losing And Marcy, who I love I try to stay the course I think of Marcy and I wander There's this pulling, aching force And I'm certain of a source At first I did my best to completely destroy it Now I'm starting to enjoy it Is this goodbye to knowing my next move? Goodbye to knowing where I stand. This change isn't small. Do I go back on all I have planned? And say hello to uncertain mornings. Just awake and take it from there. But I may regret this choice because I'm reeling. It's too much to bet on a whim that I'm feeling. Too much is resting on my sin. But then there's Marcy, who sees who I am and still has 
has the nerve to care. I know that Marcy won't give a damn if I plan my life out or leave it up to chance or set up shop on the moon. She'll love me anyway. So nice and goodbye to my expectations. Goodbye to everything I know. No rules to obey, so I'll wake every day and I'll go full steam into who knows what, who cares, as long as Marcy's by my side. I used to just do what was planned and prepared. I wouldn't trust chance because I was too scared. But Marcy is my reason now to try. So to who I used to be and the life I thought I wanted. Goodbye. Goodbye.